Well, greetings, everybody. This is Jim Humbland, your Edina Mayor, and it is already Wednesday, December 15th, 2021. Holiday season rapidly approaching on a day where it's supposed to be 50 degrees. Watch out for this weather today. It could get nasty uh, towards evening is what we've been told. So beware of that wind that's coming our, our direction. You know, our town and our neighboring towns have had their security and serenity under attack for mobile criminals who've been coming into Edina and other nearby communities to steal or attempt to steal private property and in some cases injuring people who either resist or assist a victim. We saw that happen out at Lunds last week. Edina residents have become angry and fearful. The peace and tranquility of our community has been disrupted. At a time when we should all be celebrating peace with our families and in our communities and places of worship, and here we are all worrying each day about what the day will bring in the way of criminal activity. The City Council shares the concerns of residents about what is happening in our town and has been assisting any way we can over the past few weeks. We've told our police department they can have whatever resources they need to have available to help them be successful in catching these criminals. We'll facilitate anything we can do on behalf of our residents and our residents are giving us the license to do it. Our police department has responded and been working around the clock on not just responding to emergencies involving criminal behavior, but also working with police departments and neighboring communities to share information and security strategies to combat and catch these criminals. As your mayor, I want you all to know that the city of Edina and its police department is working as hard and fast as we can to apprehend those responsible and to restore peace to our town. I also want you to know that we need your help. Do your part by locking your house and make sure you have your vehicles locked. Don't leave your keys in the car. The thefts of autos we're seeing are where the keys have been left in the car. And take your valuables with you and always remain vigilant. Have that situational awareness. Uh, and that's one of the things that we heard last night at the town hall meeting that we had over at the Edina Country Club. Uh, that one of the people from Minneapolis had had somebody follow them home from the grocery store. So keep that situational awareness. You might also be able to help if a crime occurs near your home or business where you have a security camera system. Earlier this week, our Edina Police Department launched its Safe Cam program. Safe Cam allows Edina residents and businesses to voluntarily register their security cameras so detectives will know who to contact in the event of a crime occurring at or near an area in which a camera is installed. If a camera is registered with our police department, police will contact the owner as quickly as possible to get photos and surveillance footage. Knowing where the cameras are will save precious time in an investigation, which is critical. Last week, the police department was able to track down security cameras and release suspect photos the day after an attempted carjacking. With this new program in place, we hope to be able to access and potentially release photos of suspects much more quickly. The police will not have direct access to any privately owned security camera systems, and you should all know this. Owners of the security cameras will maintain confidentiality and their personal information will not be disrupted except as required by law or court order. Participants may opt out of the program at any time. Please consider registering your camera system at edinamn.gov slash safecam. That's edinamn.gov slash safecam. And join us at 7 p.m. on Monday evening, December 20th at the City Hall or online for a town talk on public safety and crime prevention tips. This is Jim Hovland, and that's your Edina Mayor's Minute for December 15th. Stay strong. We're going to get through this together just like we have so many other challenges over the past couple of years. We'll talk one more time between now and Christmas, but I'm wishing you all a wonderful and safe holiday season. See you later.